Researchers predicted the northern lights will put on a rare show over nearly 20 states later this week. Now, though, experts say that height might not materialize. Still, sky gazers might get a glimpse if they head north tomorrow. Thomas from Roseville wanted to know what is the best spot to view the northern lights? Good question. Here's Kirsten Mitchell. Is it common to see northern lights in the summer months? The aurora can occur throughout the year. It's most common to actually see it during the spring and fall months. So this could potentially be a big deal. It could potentially be a big deal. Keyword. Potentially. Thaddeus LeCourcier is the planetarium production coordinator at the Bell Museum. The northern lights are incredibly hard to predict. He says it's somewhat of a shot in the dark. We are basing our information off of the sun, which is a multi-billion trillion ball of plasma that is constantly changing. We're just beginning to understand the dynamics of the sun and how it works and how it changes. Still, an active sun has increased our chances of seeing the aurora borealis. I grew up uh, seeing the northern lights. We would just lay out in the fields and, and watch them dance overhead. Well, I lived in Minnesota uh, over a decade, and I have yet to see this phenomena. If conditions align this week, Le Corsier recommends heading a couple hours outside of the Twin Cities. That'll get you into those darker skies where you're dealing with less light pollution and heading further north where the aurora is more likely to occur. A light pollution map and an aurora forecast will help with the time and place. I hope that the skies are clear um, and we have a nice breeze going. 10 to 2 a.m. is often the prime window, though it's later with the summer daylight hours. Occasionally you'll get the red and the purple hues, but that's a rare treat. If you can't get to a higher elevation, a spot like this could be perfect at the end of a dock on a lake with an expansive view of the northern horizon. Depending on when you go out, there's a lot you can bring. Uh, bug spray is always a good one. Patience. And coffee. And coffee. Uh, bug spray and coffee. Astronomers run, run on that. Across all cultures, races, background, I feel like we just like really love to see those lights. Kind of a freeing uh, experience to see northern lights. We are pretty lucky here in Minnesota that we do get the opportunity to see something like this, right? There is so much to see here. Astronomy Minnesota is so exciting. In St. Paul, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. One of our next weather meteorologists told Kirsten that Aurora forecasts are about as reliable as weather forecasts from back in the 1950s. So, Chris, really curious what you think about that. Yeah, Frank, we've experienced that already this spring. There were times where it looked like a surefire thing. I got home, went out in the backyard nothing. At other times, it didn't look like anything with the auroral forecast and people started sending in these pictures that were in the southern metro stronger than northern Minnesota. So it's incredibly hit or miss.